Hi everybody. When I started drawing with a graphics tablet, it was just crazy. It was really hard to get used to it, and it was really tiring to try to coordinate my hand motion with the motion of the cursor. It was pretty depressing. But finally, I got the hang of it. So therefore, I've decided to make a quick video with 8 tips on getting used to drawing with a graphics tablet. Tip number 1. Hold the pen properly. As a child, I was often told off by my teachers not to, for not holding my pen properly. Stubborn as I was, they finally gave up. It was only after getting frustrated with the tablet that I started to pay attention to this. And it suddenly made a huge difference. Tip number two, watch your posture. For example, I have a tendency to lean into the monitor as if looking at the monitor from close will increase the accuracy of my pen. Keep your back and neck straight and keep your soles, the soles of your feet on the ground. Tip number three, change the tablet settings. First of all, I recommend putting the tracking mode to absolute and not to relative. I don't know if this is good advice for everyone, but when I switched from relative to absolute, I noticed a marked improvement. Also, as a beginner, you might want to change the sensitivity of your tablet. It's tough when a small stylus movement causes a large cursor movement. If possible, try to change the sensitivity of your tablet. As you get used to the tablet, you can always set the sensitivity back later. How to do this depends on the operating system you are using and what kind of tablet you have. So you have to look it up. Zoom, rotate and mirror. When you're working on de details, it's best to zoom in. Also, when drawing long, smooth lines, it's best to zoom out and draw the line in one steady stroke. I find drawing lines from left to right and from up to down is much easier than the other way around. So that's why I use mirror and I rotate the cav canvas uh, to favor this motion. Tip number five, automatic line smoothing. Use the auto smoothing and stabilizer functions. In Krita, you can find them in the tools options docker when you have the brush tool selected. Spoiler alert, we will be learning more about this in the next section. Tip number six, Bezier curves. You have no time to practice drawing smooth lines? In that case, Bezier curves might be just what you need. Bezier curves are a great way to draw smooth lines without needing to use a tablet at all. Again, spoiler alert, we will be learning more about Bezier curves in the next section. Tip number seven, practice, practice, practice. If you want to improve quickly, then you can try some of these exercises. Warning, these exercises can be extremely boring, but they are a good way of improving quickly. First of all, try using the stylus to replace your mouse. You might die of frustration, but if you survive for a few days of using only your graphics tablet, to do your daily computer chores, you will come out the other side with a much better stylus control. Try drawing a circle. Then pick another color and draw. try to draw over it exactly. Do this over and over again. The more you practice, the better you will get. Or how about writing a sentence or a paragraph? Try to keep your handwriting as neat as possible. And tip number eight, my absolute favorite tip, don't care. Who cares about drawing straight lines anyway? Don't be too critical of your poor unsteady lines. The less self-critical you are, the more fun you will have. The more fun you have, the more you will practice, and the more you practice, the faster you will improve.